A topographic map provides a detailed and accurate representation of cultural and natural features on the ground as well as a quantitative representation of relief, usually using contour lines. A topographic map is typically published as a map series made up of two or more map sheets that combine to form the whole map. Topographic maps differ from other map types in various aspects. For example, planimetric maps do not show elevations, or thematic maps focus on specific topics. Quadrangles are individual map sheets that are laid out as four-sided figures, each of which is bounded by lines of latitude and longitude. The set of boundary edges is called a projection line. Due to meridian convergence, the northern boundary of the quadrangle is somewhat narrower than the southern one, and the shape of a quadrangle is closer to a trapezoid. However, the difference between this trapezoid and a true rectangle is small. This table lists some common series of topographic maps produced by USGS. They come in a variety of scales, where the best known maps are those of the 7.5 minute 1 to 24,000 scale quadrangle series. Various map scales make it necessary to vary the extent of coverage of quadrangle maps, as shown in the rightmost column. Prior to 2009, USGS topographic maps were created through traditional cartographic methods and printed using the lithographic printing process. The left image shows an example of what is referred to as the standard USGS 7.5 minute topographic map series that was created during the period from 1947 to approximately 1992. The layout and design of a USGS digital topographic map named US Topo and shown to the right has the same extent, scale, and general layout as the older standard topographic maps. However, US Topo maps are published as PDF files with a geospatial extension called GeoPDF. This extension provides the end user with a PDF map that is georeferenced. The map comes with multiple data layers that can be turned on and off to support different views of the map. In addition, US Topo maps incorporate an aerial image here and after referred to as ortho image. US Topo maps can be freely downloaded in PDF format from the USGS store, which is accessible through the USGS website. The file size for each US Topo quadrangle is about 15 to 20 megabytes. The US Topo program will provide coverage on a three year production cycle. This image reflects the view of folders and layers in a US Topo GeoPDF file when it is opened with Adobe Acrobat Reader. The file contains folders and layers, where folders can contain subfolders and layers are placed in folders. A US Topo GeoPDF file contains, at a minimum, the folders and layers circled in red, although in most cases more layers and folders will be available. The first top level folder relates to the map collar, also called the map margin. This is the area outside the projection line and includes all text, diagrams, and other information that appears in this area except for data related to cartographic coordinate systems. The second top level folder is named map frame and relates to the map interior, that is the actual map content. Layers in the map frame can be overlaid with an ortho image when viewing the map as a PDF file, which is stored within the images top level folder. This example shows a US topo quadrangle when opened as a GeoPDF file in Adobe Acrobat Reader. The table of contents to the left shows the folder and layer structure available for that specific map. Each folder or layer may be turned on or off by the user using the eye symbol. In this example, all layers except for contour lines are turned on. The right part of the image shows the map interior and the marginal information found on the map collar. The Adobe Acrobat Reader provides an analysis toolbar which contains a geospatial location. When activated, this tool provides the geographic coordinates, that is, latitude and longitude, of the current mouse pointer position on the map. For full geospatial functionality of the GeoPDF format, the Terago toolbar is available. This is a free plugin for either Adobe Acrobat Reader or Adobe Acrobat, which can be downloaded from the web. Two important functions provided are to measure area and length of a feature, which can be found under the Terago menu. In the example here, a few street segments are marked through a sequence of nodes to measure their length. 
of report window reports the total length of the measured path and properties of individual segments. In this case, the total length measured across all path segments amounts to 737.2 meters. In a similar way, the area and perimeter of a feature can be measured. In this example, the area of a golf course was determined to be approximately 748,000 square meters with a perimeter of about 4,100 meters. Each map quadrangle is constructed from key layers of geographic data which are adopted from the national map, which is a collaborative effort of USGS and other public agencies to improve and deliver topographic information for the United States. This relationship is also indicated through the national map visual identity logo on the map collar of each US topo map. The geospatial data available from the national map include boundaries, elevation, geographic names, hydrography, land cover, orthoimagery, structures, and transportation. The map collar is the area outside the projection line and highlighted in yellow. It includes elements such as title block and feature legend. Some of its elements will be described in more detail on the next slides. In the upper right corner of the map, the title block can be found, which shows title, state, and series of the map quadrangle. Moving in clockwise direction, the feature symbology legend can be found to the lower right corner of the map. Map symbols incorporate different colors and patterns to distinguish between feature types and their relative importance. The feature symbology legend in U.S. topo maps explains part of the road-related map symbols. A more comprehensive explanation of U.S. topo map symbols is available on the website of the national map. The quadrangle location diagram indicates the location of a quadrangle within the state, while the adjoining location diagram shows the quadrangles that are adjacent to the current map. In this example, the diagram lays out the eight quadrangles surrounding the Gainesville East Quadrangle. The map collar further shows the map scale, expressed as a representative fraction. In this scale, one inch is equal to 24,000 inches, or 2,000 feet. Further, scale bars are provided, both in metric and U.S. units. Scale and scale bars are particularly useful for measuring distances and point coordinates on paper plots of U.S. topo maps. Below the scale bars, one can find the basic contour interval and vertical datum used for the contour lines. The contour intervals can vary between different U.S. topo maps. For example, the Albuquerque East Quadrangle uses a 10 feet contour interval, while the Colorado Quadrangle uses a 40 feet contour interval. At the lower left part of the map collar, mapping information is provided, including map projection, horizontal datum, state plane zone, and grid information. All U.S. topo maps are cast on the North American datum of 1983, also known as NAD83, or on the World Geodetic System of 1984, also known as WGS84. The two datums can be considered equivalent at this scale. Further, all maps are cast on the universal transverse Mercator projection, where the zone number is provided in this information as well. In the case of the Gainesville East Quadrangle, UTM Zone 17 is used. Further, a list of data layers with sources and currency dates is provided. The lower part of the map collar shows three north directions visualized as north arrows in the declination diagram. The directions represent different northings at the map center. The first northing is the direction towards the geographic north pole, indicated by the star symbol. This northing is called true, geodetic, or astronomic north. In the map center, this direction is pointing exactly upwards. The second northing is grid north, which refers to the north axis of the rectangular coordinate system associated with the UTM projection. Due to meridian convergence, its direction differs slightly from two north, except when measured on the central meridian of a UTM zone. For the Gainesville East Quadrangle, the grid north is slightly oriented towards the west compared to true north as shown in the figure. The third northing is magnetic north. It points towards the north pole of the Earth's magnetic field, which is constantly undergoing a slow drifting motion. In this map, it encloses an angle of 39 minutes with true north. Below the declination diagram, the map collar provides the U.S. National Grid reference box. The U.S. National Grid divides the U.S. geographic area into 6-degree longitudinal zones designated by a number and 8-degree latitudinal bands designated by a letter, which are adopted from the global scheme of the military grid reference system and also used for UTM grid zones. 
the zone description can be found in the grid zone designation like 17R here. Each grid zone is further covered by a specific scheme of 100,000 meters squares where a two-letter pair identifies each square such as LN here. It may also occur that a 100,000 meters square is partially located on multiple grid zones. The map interior refers to the actual map content inside the projection line and data related to cartographic coordinate systems. The projection and grids folder contains layers that facilitate coordinate reading, such as coordinate labels and tick marks, along the projection line. All maps show a 1000 meter UTM grid shown in orange, with coordinate labels along the projection line. Maps show further state plane coordinate ticks at a 10,000 foot interval. Further, the geographic coordinates are shown at the corners of the projection line. U.S. topo quadrangles include further contours that show the shape of the Earth's surface, hydrographic features such as lakes and rivers, roads, boundaries, and geographic names. Additionally, structures such as fire stations and land cover, such as woodland tint, are being added to the maps as they are updated. In general, these data layers come from different sources, which are listed in the map color as described before. An ortho image is a required layer in every U.S. topo product. Ortho imagery at the 1 to 24,000 scale requires a 1 meter ground sample distance, a bit depth of 8 bits, and currency within 3 years of the map publication date. Image sources with a finer ground sample distance and larger bit depths are resampled to balance digital file performance versus high quality printing. This slide summarizes the presentation. It started with an introduction to common quadrangle sizes and map series, where the best known maps are those of the 7.5 minute 1 to 24,000 scale quadrangle series. Next, the presentation gave an introduction to the GeoPDF file structure of folders and layers. GeoPDF files facilitate coordinate readings besides other functions, such as distance and area measurements. Further, the presentation provided more detailed information about the elements of the map collar and the map interior, and the ortho imagery layer.